Hi, my name is Izar. I'm a debug solution engineer, and today we're going to talk about Verisim Debug focusing on Python API. So what is Python API all about? It does two interesting scenarios in my mind. One is automating repetitive jobs. A good example of this would be an SOC with many uninitialized registers. You can write a Python script and send it to the database in offline mode. It would traverse through all the hierarchies in the design and fetch any uninitialized registers, allowing you, allowing you to get a text file with all the registers in one place. The other interesting scenario would be to automate on-the-fly jobs in interactive mode. So you create a button on the waveform and press it and get an instance response. Uh, a good example of this would be a series of signal. You want to calculate the frequency of these signals between two markers. And by pressing the button, you get immediate response. Let's go through a real-life example and understand how both flows can be utilized with Python API. So for the sake of the example, let's uh, imagine that we have an APB checker fail in our log. Option one would be to open this database with Verisium Debug and trace the cause of the drivers of any of the scopes in the checker fail until we get to the root cause. This, of course, is repetitive and maybe may consume a lot of time. The other option would be to understand that this is a repetitive job and write a Python API sending it on the database in offline mode. It would fetch the checker fail and understand the scope of this checker, fetching all the buses in this scope. For each one of the buses, it would calculate all the possible drivers and the contributing signals for each one of them, grouping them together in groups that are easy for di digestion. You can see in this code snippet that this is done with simple for loops and Python queries on the code, nothing too fancy or hard to understand. So of course, we chose option B. What you can see here is we send this Python program on our database and we get to the screen a simple print with all the buses in the scopes for each one of them, the drivers and the contributing signals. Another thing it does is send these groups to the waveform structure. And when we open it, Verisium Debug with the GUI, we actually get a waveform structure. So in this example, you see the result. For each of the contributing signals, you see a specific group and you can easily double click any one of those signals getting to the root cause. This puts you in a much higher standpoint for debug instead of wasting all this time on, on fetching those signals in the, in the first place. So what are the main takeaways of Python API? First and foremost, it allows customability. Each designer has a different way to approach debug and we allow by accessing the raw data of the database to create a tailor-made custom solution for each problem. We allow automating repetitive jobs and therefore allowing the user to focus on what's important. And by those two, we also shorten debug time, of course, by investing time where it matters. If you want any more information, you can feel free to contact us or the local AE team for a live demo. Thank you.